Hi everyone, this is Anitra and I wanted to um, get in a video before I send my projects off for the Pocket for Your Thoughts August Swap and this is hosted by Eile and this month's theme was um, Farm Fresh. So for my pocket, um, I was really inspired by a pocket that I received from uh, Debbie Daniels and she had sent me um, well I swapped with one of the swaps I received was from her and I was really inspired by this pouch type pocket that she had made um, so I thought I'd, I'd recreate this one and I kind of just went off her dimensions I measured it out um, and I made it out of manila folder and just covered it with my paper but I really liked this idea that she had so I I was inspired by it, inspired to create one myself. Um, so thank you, Debbie. That was, again, an, a great um, idea. Thank you. Um, for my pocket, uh, like I said, I made a manila folder, and I made my flap. The only thing is I put a little edge punch here that was a zigzag punch by EK Success. Uh, so I punched that out of cardstock, and I covered my folder, my manila folder, with uh, papers from Simple Stories and they're just different uh, papers from the summer collection and um, I added a Jolie's flower here and behind the Jolie's flower is a, a veneer a laser cut doily I don't know if you can see it but it's it's really detailed um, then there's some Prima flowers I added with some grain ribbon and some seam binding on this other side with a uh, another Prima flower and then I used a lot of digital images on here. Um, this digital image is from uh, an Etsy shop. Um, and I use a lot of her images. Um, her shop is actually called Ira La Mija. And I'll probably put um, her Etsy shop name under the description because um, at first I didn't know what it said until I, I realized it was in Spanish. Um, so I'll put that on the bottom if you're interested in taking a look at her shop. And these um, words here, these produce words, are from a crepe paper sheet and it actually came like this. It has a ton of of different uh, produce words and oh, maybe if I put it right side up. <laughs> and so I just cut them out to the image I put on the pocket or something close to. Um, so this one says peppers and tomatoes and um, Valley Fruit Farm, and I just popped up every other one. And inside is what houses um, the tickets. No, is that coming apart? Um, and each pouch has slightly different uh, tags. Uh, this one was made from the craft tag. Yeah, it was the craft tags by. Ink Essentials. And I just added one of her images from the Etsy shop. I, another one of the produce words I cut out from crepe paper. And I thought these kind of look like cabbages. And they're actually Prima Roses. So I put those on the corner. And this image is from another digital shop uh, that, that I like a lot. is a uh, Seneca Pond. And I just printed this one out directly onto paper bag cardstock and I get this cardstock from a shop called the craft outlet and she has a lot of uh, nice craft tags and cardstocks and labels and envelopes and I just added some more of the paper on the top and I backed it with some of the coordinating paper from the simple story summer collection and then I added a fabric uh, label ticket and then I I uh, made these two little tags, smaller tags, and I put them in this little paper bag. And I don't remember where I got these little paper bags from. I've had them so long. But I just thought it was something you might find at a farmer's market. And inside I put the produce. It was the um, watermelon. And this is also from the Etsy shop, the Ira La Mija shop, as well as this one. It says tomatoes. And I just added just coordinating papers to match the images. And I just put some seam binding and lace on the top. 
So you were to uh, make four tags and instead of adding a gift this month you were to add a recipe and my recipe is going to be on the card like this. I didn't I didn't really know how to make or put a recipe card together so I just printed it out and this is going to be a recipe for the glazed apple strudel. Um, and I've made this so I know it's good. It's yummy. Um, and this pocket's just slightly different. I used another one of the uh, veneer doilies. Um, Prima flowers. This is a Webster sparkler vintage button. Um, this is uh, one of the images from the Ira La Mija shop. I think I showed you this is the same. This is what the fabric tag and this one's gonna look like a denim with some design on it. This is strawberries. And I just added some lace, vintage lace, and some twine. And the same little tags. And it says peas on it instead of watermelon. Just go right back in there and then on the back is where I'm going to add my information and I just um, kind of freehand cut like a little pocket like maybe the farmers <laughs> overalls or something and then I added a tag that will have my information on the back and it just slips right in there and then this one's um, another one of the images I used from the Ira shop on Etsy again popped up the letters it's all Prima flowers and I think this is the only, well, there's that fabric tag. This is the only different tag in here. And I stamped on here first with a stamp from Stampin' Up. And it was a retired stamp. It's called uh, Spring is Here. And added some vintage buttons. You can see this one looks really vintage. <laughs> a little bit of burlap. And this image was from that Ida La Mija shop. Some lace, gray green ribbon, and some seam binding. And that does it for my tags and my my pocket for your thoughts. So I really like this, this swap too. There are some really creative ladies in this group. Um, so I wanted to try to make one of those pocket type, um, pouch type pockets and so I really like the way that came out. And those will be sent off pretty sure today, if not today, by tomorrow, because they have to be sent out by the 25th. And I don't think I'm making any changes, so they're pretty much ready to go other than being put in their plastic bag. But I look forward to seeing what everybody else has come up with um, and getting some swaps back. But that does it for me. Thanks for watching. Bye.